Hi, I'm Marie Lockwood. This is Cakes Cooking and More. Today's episode is just the easiest bunny cake that you can make. It's really quite simple. So let's see what we do. Okay, so for this recipe, we have some sweetened coconut flake. We have a batch of the vanilla buttercream, some green food color, and some pink food color. Now I have Twizzler, and this is the kind that you can split apart. Um, you can use pipe cleaners, but unfortunately my grocery store was out. Then I have two red and one green jelly bean, some containers with lids, and my two round chocolate cakes that are 8 inch. So we're going to take our first chocolate cake. And you're going to set it kind of low on your board. You don't want it too far up. Alright, then we're going to take our second cake and we're going to do a little bit of carving. Now you don't need a super hard knife or, or strong knife or anything like that. But what you're wanting to do is sort of carve out a circle. Now you can do it using a bowl if you need to, but I just do it by hand. You just want to cut out kind of an oval shape here. And then do a second one on the other side. Alright, so our first piece in the middle, you just take it and you want the top face up. So I do trim off that dome that you get on your cakes sometimes. And then we're going to put this piece at an angle and this piece at an angle. And what we end up with is a shape that looks very much like a bunny rabbit wearing a bow tie. Now we're going to take our buttercream and since we're going to be covering this with coconut, you actually don't need to do the crumb crust. So you're just going to automatically put your buttercream on and spread that out and get it completely covered. Now if you don't like coconut, you can just do a crumb crust, freeze your cake for about 20 to 30 minutes, and then ice it again and color your icing. But I like the coconut, the kids like the coconut, and this is the way I've always had it growing up, so it's the way I do it. So we're just going to cover our entire cake with icing. And All right, that. now that our bunny is covered in icing, and you can see little specks from where our chocolate is peeking through all over. But this is one of the few cakes where that makes no difference. So you just want to get your icing on, and you can even use store-bought if you prefer and don't want to have to make your own. It works just as well. This is just one of those few cakes that you almost can't mess this one up. Which is always nice, especially if you're somebody new to cooking. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our coconut. You don't need a whole lot of green. So, you're just going to pour a little bit in there for the green. And then a whole bunch for the pink. And you can make more if you need to. And you can actually store these in the freezer and they're good for next year if you have to. I don't recommend it, but you can. All right, so we're just gonna put a few drops of pink into our container. Then we're going to pop on our lid and we're gonna shake it really good. And it will dye all of our coconut pink. All right, once you're done, you will have a nice pretty pink and you'll have a little blob where most of the color stuck and you can pull that out. Then you're going to do the same with the green. And you can decide how light or how dark you want and how many drops you want to put. So you can just add a few at a time until you get the exact color that you want. But I try to go with a nice pastel pink and green just to kind of match Easter a little bit better. So now that that's done, we're just going to pull out those really dark blobs where the color went because I don't necessarily want a red spot on my bunny. When you're done, you should have a nice soft pink and a nice green. Alright, so what you're going to do is you're going to take your green and you're going to cover the bow tie only. And you just kind of put it on and kind of press it into place a little bit. And this part can get a little messy, but as you can see, it totally covers the icing, which is why I said your icing really doesn't matter on this cake. 
It's kind of nice because you can make as many mistakes as you want on your icing and not have to worry about it affecting how your finished cake actually looks. And like I said, you can always dye more if you ended up without enough coconut, but you should have plenty if you follow the recipe. All right, and then we're going to go around the sides. Just press up the coconut. You want to get the sides of that little bow tie covered, not the top covered, corners, edges, but we want to stay just on the bow tie. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but the nice thing about the coconut is your bunny looks a little bit fuzzy. Now if you're really against coconut, like I said, you can skip the coconut and just do icing, but then you're going to want to color your icing. And I have done a purple bunny before. I've also done a yellow bunny. So you can pretty much pick any Easter colors that you want. I like the pink just because it's more traditional. And that's what we always had as kids was pink and green. But you can change it. I think one year I did a yellow bunny with a purple bow tie. Kind of depended. Sometimes the kids voted on what colors they wanted. And sometimes it was just a matter of whatever color I actually had still on hand. All right, now when you're done, just scrape off the extra coconut that's kind of falling off. Cover any little spots that you find you missed. It's usually on a corner. And then you can put your coconut to the side and start on your pink. Now your pink covers the rest of your bunny. The green is just for the bow tie, which is why we needed so much less of it than we actually need of the pink. So we're going to get this covered and then we'll be back. Okay, so now that our coconut is done, you're going to take your green one, put it right there in the bow tie, take your red ones, make little eyeballs for your bunny. Then I have a green one, or a pink one, that I turn to the side for the nose. Then I'm just going to add me some little whisker pieces. Now I do prefer pipe cleaners, but like I said, my store is out. So I'm having to make do with Twizzlers, which are not my favorite part to put on these, but they do work. Just cut them to whatever length you're comfortable with. Just adjust them as needed. And that is the easiest bunny cake you can ever make. Very easy, very simple, very much anyone who wants to make one can have one. Okay, so that is it for our bunny cake today. Just going to tilt that up a little bit. As you can see, it's very easy to do. It really doesn't take a whole lot. And it's pretty much, like I said, one of the easiest cakes that you can make. So I hope you enjoyed our show today. I'm Marie Lockwood. This is Cakes Cooking and More. Have a great day.